All right, so we're just going to talk basically about the things that we've been doing here. First, we're going to start with policy. So in 2009, we saw in the APCUPCC, however that is pronounced, to uh, commit to climate change actions on campus. And we completed our first greenhouse gas emission inventory that year. 2010, we signed the Illinois Sustainability Compact, which is with other community colleges throughout the state. In 2011, we submitted our climate action plan for the APU, ACUPCC, there we go. And that basically outlines what we're gonna do to look at carbon outputs in 2017, we joined the Billion Dollar Green Challenge, which looks at uh, green revolving funds across the country. And the goal is to save a billion dollars by reinvesting in infrastructure at colleges. So here comes some of the things we've done. Uh, 23, we painted, uh, planted miscanthus for biofuel research, which is still ongoing. Uh, in 2010, we started installing occupancy sensors throughout the classrooms, just 18, it's a start. Uh, in 2011, we installed the green roof on the library, which is right outside the west side. Uh, 2012 we installed water bottle fillers around campus and a geothermal system at the T building. Here's some little pictures of the green roof if you haven't seen it. It's pretty neat. It's off the side of the library, second floor. All right. So in uh, 2013 we replaced all the, all the exit signs with LED signs. Um, we started putting solar panels on the W building opened up the Wesley Food Pantry, because one thing people don't think about, sustainability is more than just technology, it's people too. And so the food pantry is a huge part of sustainability because it helps the community. Uh, we continued with the uh, occupancy sensors, got 75 more sensors that year. Uh, 20 acres of native prairie was created as a preserve, which is right behind us, crossed over there. Um, 2014, they started putting solar panels on the T building to become operational. I don't have pictures of that, unfortunately. Uh, 2015, we began collecting batteries for recycling. We created a part-time sustainability coordinator position, and we upgraded half of the pneumatically controlled HVAC systems. So typically, those HVAC systems, um, air conditioning, were controlled by uh, pneumatics, which was fed from an air compressor. So it's super energy intensive. So it was a huge project to convert over. It's still about half the campus is still pneumatic. So. 2016, we installed uh, energy monitoring software on D, T, W, and U. And we installed the second solar array, which was the T building. Uh, started electric car stations, two of them. We began a black soldier fly larvae composting program with the uh, food scraps from the kitchen. We placed the T12 fluorescent lamps in the basement, 800 of them with LEDs. We began the T8 replacement of the common areas and the hallways, is 1,600 LEDs. Uh, we installed low flow faucet heads, 84 of those. It's about half of the campus sinks. When we upgraded the kitchen spray nozzles to low flow, which saves between um, two and five gallons per minute on a sprayer, which is a huge difference. We upgraded the walkway and the parking lot lights to LED. And we installed occupancy sensors in all the janitor's closets because those lights usually get left on while they're working. Uh, so in 2018, we performed a space heating boiler tune-up across campus, which looked at all of our boilers and examined their quality, their lifespan, and what we can do to fix them, tune them up to optimal combustion. Uh, we began metering and monitoring a project on the chiller plant, which is most of the campus is cooled by chill water that's created at a centralized plant, which is over that way. Can't see it from here, but so the whole idea is to monitor the water usage on there and to come up with energy saving projects from that. Uh, we signed a power purchase agreement with Soul Systems for a two me megawatt solar array. Uh, we had a biology class that performed a campus-wide recycling bin audit and mapped out where all of our recycling bins are. And here's a picture of what the solar array is going to look like. It's going to be out at the very edge of campus. It's pretty big. It's going to take up all that space. Uh, so here's some information about it just to get you an idea. Calculated is about 3.2 gigawatts. Um, current electric use is about 16 gigawatts, so it's about 20% uh, at our current usage. Uh, once the electricity saving measures we're working on currently are implemented, it'll save 2 million kilowatt hours, so it comes to about 24% of our campus use, which is slowly but surely peaking it up. And as we move those energy efficiency projects further, we become less and less use, that number will become bigger. So. Here's our future. We're looking at adopting um, new ASHRAE standards as well as new International Electric Conservation Code standards, which are basically the international standards for how things should function efficiently as concerned with energy and water. 
So what we're working on next is we're going to be replacing the parking lot lights and the perimeter lights with LED. We've done some of them and we're going to finish that project this summer. We're going to upgrade building D, U, and T to comply with ASHRAE standard 2016, which is the most energy savings we can possibly get. They're predicting anywhere from 35 to 40 percent savings from where we're at. So uh, we're going to work on modernizing the chiller water distribution. Currently, we have a system that pushes and then pulls in between the buildings. We have enough capacity at the chiller plant to just push it through the whole campus and eliminate about 300 horsepower of pumps. So that's that's quite a huge, huge elimination. So that's maybe 75 pumps that we don't have to use. So that's 75 things that don't require maintenance now. So we're going to upgrade the lighting and the parklet on Mattis with LEDs uh, with occupancy sensors. So they'll be totally controlled by occupancy on each individual light. Um, we're upgrading the HVAC system and parklet on Mattis. Some of those units there from the mid 80s. So they've been there quite a while. So it's time to look at something new. Um, we're installing a centralized lighting control system eventually to so that all lights on campus would be controlled from a central place which will be housed over uh, with public safety office. Um, we're upgrading the classroom lighting to LED with occupancy controls, which will be similar to what we're putting in Parkless on, Parkland on Mattis. And uh, we're upgrading the end of life electrical transformers in the crawl space. Some of the transformers we have are original to the campus. So they usually lifespan is 25 to 30 years and we're pushing over that. So it's time to look at something like that. Uh, and we're going to perform a campus-wide solid waste audit where we go through and examine everything that goes out from the campus. Every single dumpster, every single recycling, weigh it and measure it for a period of two weeks so we can get a baseline to where we're at. So real quick, I'll describe what my position is here. I got about a minute. Uh, so I work as the Green Revolving Fund coordinator. We started in 2017 to find energy, waste and water savings projects. 75% uh, of our savings are capitalized back into the fund and 25% of savings is kept with the physical plant. Uh, savings are there for 80% of the lifetime of the measure. So I got a quick example, just so you can understand that. So right now we're replacing these 2G11 CFL lamps. They're in the little square whites you see in the stairwells everywhere. The original is 25 and a half watts. The replacement is nine. So 524 lights to be replaced. Annual electric savings, 100,000 kilowatts. About $7,000 per year. Total lifetime is four and a half years. So 80% of that would be 3.65 years. So our investment is $4,000. We save 7,000 per year. The lifetime of the bulbs, we save $34,000. So 26,000 and I'll go back into the GRF fund to be reinvested into new savings projects. Uh, coming this year, we're gonna open it up to students and employees if they have ideas for energy, water, or waste saving projects to uh, be applied to the campus. Uh, this is just an idea of where our electric com consumption is going, all the data that I had. So if you notice, each year it gets slow, lower and lower, so slowly progressing towards being uh, energy neutral.